drivers on board computers. T minus 31 seconds and the handoff has a 25. 20. Firing chain is armed. Out suppression water system is armed. Go for main engine start. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, zero, and lift off for the final launch of Endeavour. Expanding our knowledge, expanding our lives in space. Houston Endeavour, roll program. Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston is now controlling. Endeavour beginning to uh, pull over onto its uh, back. The roll program on the way as uh, Endeavour begins the heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. Engines now throttling down as Endeavour uh, passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Approaching one minute into the flight. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Endeavour's three uh, main engines now back at uh, full throttle, all uh, three engines in good shape. Endeavour's already uh, traveling. 1300 miles per hour at an altitude of 11 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center now 12 miles at liftoff uh, Endeavour fully fueled uh, weighed four and a half million pounds it's already lost half that weight in propellant now burned that weight next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters uh, that upcoming here shortly at the uh, two minute three second point those boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of fuel per second. And standing by for separation of the solid rocket boosters. The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out any dispersions introduced at booster separation. The uh, orbiter is now traveling 3,200 miles per hour, downrange 50 miles, altitude 37 miles. All systems in good shape. Endeavor, single engine, ops three. Roger, single engine, ops three. That call indicates that Endeavour could reach a transatlantic abort site on one engine if it lost two of the three, although all three are still in good shape. Five minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Endeavour, press D'Amico and single engine Zaragoza, 104. Roger, press D'Amico, single engine Zaragoza, 104. Several calls there. Endeavour can reach a safe orbit on two engines now. The guidance system is controlling the engines to roll Endeavour to a heads-up position to optimize the air-to-ground communications through the satellite network. And main engine cutoff has been confirmed. Flight Dynamics reporting a nominal main engine cutoff. And separation from the external tank. Endeavour's Commander Mark Kelly now uh, firing the thruster jets to position the orbiter for uh, photography of the external Houston, tank. We did see a nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not... Seven miles to the landing site.
Altitude approximately one mile, 4,200 feet. Approximately uh, three miles to the landing site. And there is the runway. Speed. And there's a referred tank view of the uh, space ever as it's coming in for a landing. Gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Drag chute deployed by Greg Johnson. Forward gear touchdown. And so after a journey of six and a half million miles, Endeavour landing in darkness, but illuminated by the ingenuity, dedication of every astronaut, scientist, engineer, flight controller, mechanic and dreamer that helped it fly, the fleet's youngest ship completing its 122 millionth mile after its crew delivered an instrument to the International Space Station that will sift through the cosmic darkness for years to come. Houston, Endeavour will stop. 122 million miles flown during 25 challenging space flights. Your landing ends a vibrant legacy for this amazing vehicle that will long be remembered. Welcome home, Endeavour. Yeah, thank you, Houston. You know, the space shuttle is an amazing vehicle to fly through the atmosphere, hit it at Mach 25, uh, I mean, steer through the atmosphere like an airplane, land on a runway. It is really, really an incredible ship. On behalf of my entire crew, I want to thank every person that's worked for to get this mission going and every person that's worked on Endeavor. Um, it's sad to see her land for the last time, uh, but she really has a great legacy. Great words. Thank you, Mark. And we will meet you and your crew on 5-3. 5-3. And so the Space Shuttle Endeavour touching down at Kennedy Space Center uh, on time at uh, 1.35 a.m. Central Time, 2.35 a.m. Eastern. Commander Mark Kelly guiding it to a uh, very gentle touchdown on runway 15 at Kennedy Space Center Shuttle Landing Facility.